Hello everyone, happy to see you here and really interesting Olympiad question today. 4 to the x equal to x to the 4 and that's it, as you can see, and not like a 5th power, 7th power, it looks like a really easy question, 4 to the x equal to x to the 4th. But what about solution? As you can see right here we have 4th power, so it's not like one solution right here, we need to find all solution in this question. And a lot of students do this mistake, they say, okay, x equal to 4, it looks like 4 to the 4 equal to 4 to the 4, absolutely correct. And let's try to, to solve it, let's try to check it, let's try to find all solution. As you know right here we have our power, our exponent, so it's really good to apply log on both sides. So we have like natural log 4 to the x equal to natural log x to the fourth power, yeah? So the next step, we have this situation, x goes right here and 4 goes right here because this is main log property, we'll have like x natural log 4 equal to 4 natural log x. Right now, real quick step, let's divide both sides right here by 4, or both sides like by 4 and both sides by x. If we divide it, we will have like natural log 4 over 4 equal to natural log x over over x. And right now, the same the same picture on the right, on the left hand side, so x equal to 4 will be our, our solution x equal to 4. But this is not like a old solution to this problem. It's, it will be really easy to solve it like in this way and x equal to 4. We need to solve it in another way. We need to find our, our solution. Okay, take a look closely what I'm going to do right now. I want to write it, this natural log 4 as natural log 2 square over 4 equal to natural log x over over x. Yeah like in this way. Right now x goes right here, we have like 2 natural log 2 over 4 equal to natural log x over x, yeah? Natural log x log over x. Right now cancel this and we will have like natural log 2 over 2 equal to natural log x over x. And it's the same situation from here, because we can easily write that from here x equal to 2. So as you can see, we find real quick our second solution to this problem. But what about all solution? What about all solution to this problem? Let's find more solutions right, right here, because we find only two, maybe we'll have like one more, maybe we'll have like two more solutions. Let's try to solve it. So this is maybe the easy way to solve it by inspection. So as you can see by inspection, you can easily see that two equal, x equal to 2 and x equal to 4. But what about our solution in general? So at first we need to know about Lambert W function and we can easily solve it step by step. So I write this row, I write this line right here. So we have like x natural log 4 equal to 4 natural log x. Yeah? Let's write this x as e to the power natural log x. So e to the power natural log x times natural log 4 equal to 4 natural log x. 4 natural log x. So natural log x, natural log 4 over 4, I can write it on the left hand side if we divide it by 4 over 4 equal to natural log x over this one, e to the power natural log x. I want to write it in another way. If we cross multiply both sides, we will have like the same in the beginning. So nothing changed for us. Okay, but why I write this? I want to bring this element from denominator to numerator and I put a minus right here. So I will have as a result and I want to write it on the left. So we'll have like e to the power minus natural log x times natural log x equal to natural log 4 over 4. So this is a constant. On the right hand side this is a constant, absolutely good and really great. This is a constant. What about left hand side? We have this expression and it looks like our Lambert W function case, but we don't have minus right here. Because we need to, to have like e to the power x times x. So x, so we, we need to have like a times e to the power a. We need to have this situation. Right here we have minus right here and we need to have minus right here. So we need to multiply it by, by minus. We will have like minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to minus natural log 4, of course, we need to multiply both sides over 4, yeah? And as a result, Lambert W function from this one, really good, and from this one, 
lambda w function, we will have like only our minus natural log x equal to lambda w function in this point minus natural log 4 over 4. Okay, and if you find, of course, our x, we will have like x equal to e to the power minus w lambda w function in this point minus natural log 4 over 4. And I see a solution in internet, or not solution like uh, answer to this uh, lambda w function, because we have like from here that our x equal to 2. And in this point, I want to solve it and I want to find more solution because we find this x equal to 4 before. So as you can see, this is our first solution, this is our second solution, and this is our third solution, but this is the same as second, yeah? So we find three solutions where x equal to 4 and 2, this is really good and this is our case. But what about the first solution? This is really interesting moment. Because if we have our, if we create a function from here, so if we have a function f of x equal to 4 to the x minus x to the fourth, if we create a function from here, and if you found, for example, f in, in, in 0, yeah, in 0 point, we will have like 4 to the 0 minus 0 to the fourth power, yeah, equal to, equal to, right here we'll have 1, yeah, and this is positive, and if you find f in point minus 1, we will have like 4 to the power minus 1 minus minus 1 to the fourth power, which is equal to minus 3 fourths, which is negative 1. So there is one solution between 0 and 1. Yeah, so there will be one more solution. And how can we find this interesting, interesting solution? We need to know about Newton's, Newton formula, yeah? So this formula looks like that, x to the x with x n plus 1 equal to x right here n minus f x n over f prime x n, yeah? We need to know derivative and we need to, to plug in this x in this case right here. And I do these calculations before and when I plug in right here to this x, to this formula, when I plug in right here x force, it will be equal to minus 0 0.7666, a lot of 6, and in the end 5, like something like that. So using this Newton's formula, I found this solution, x to the fourth power. What you need to do to, to solve it in this way? You need to find derivative. What about derivative real quick? We can easily write it right here. So f prime x equal to 4 to the x times natural log 4 minus 4x cubed. This is about derivative. And you plug in this number in this derivative, divide, this is in our denominator, and numerator we have the same, and x and this is our, our number, the previous one, because this is the next one, you need to find x3, x2, and x1. Okay, and let's write our answer. I don't want to waste your time with this Newton's formula, as I want to show it that, that this this uh, root can be finding by this Newton's formula. So our answer, our answer, we will have like x first equal to 4, this is maybe the main obvious root, x second equal to 2, and x third approximately equal, of course, to minus 0 0.7666 and something like that. This is our, our solution. What do you think about this solution? Write your suggestion in the comment, write your question in the comment, it will be really interesting to read about it. And as you can see, three roots. And of course we have the fourth one, so the fourth one equal to two, but we don't need like to repeat this, repeat this solution once more, to write this solution once more right here. This is our, our answer. What do you think about it? How do you find this solution approximately? Maybe you have another method. How can you find it? It will be really interesting to read about it. And of course, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Write your thought about this question. What do you think? How can you solve it? Maybe you have another method. It will be really interesting to read about it. And of course, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Write what, what question do you want to think on my channel, to see on my channel, maybe with uh, derivative, logarithm, maybe Olympiad problem. I have a lot of books and I want to share you with solution to this problem. I have a lot of Olympiad questions. So if you're interested in this, of course, you can support me with your like and with your comment. 
I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos. Have a great day and take care of yourself.